Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel again. Um, so today I am here at, um, it's called Hitter Hill, but I'm going to be looking onto um, two peaks in the Peak District. Um, we're kind of near Buxton in the area. Um, there's a few small villages that I haven't even seen. And uh, it's a gorgeous night tonight. It's about eight, 10 past eight. I've just found a spot which I, I just completely stumbled upon. I haven't actually uh, planned at all any of this. I'm really bad and I really should start planning a little bit more. But um, I'm here and in the background, I don't know if you can see, there's two peaks here and I think that will be the photo for today. Um, I'm in a, on a bit of a mission to find a composition walking around this edge of this hill that I'm on. Um, to find a good spot to stop for the night and uh, the sun's going to be on its way down at the moment and it's going to be setting um, but I've got some exciting stuff to show you guys one is this camera right here I've uh, buckled under the pressure and gone with the ES EOS R um, sold my Mark IV which yeah I know why did you do that and yeah basically just uh, buckled for the video and this flip screen is amazing I can't believe like how much it's helping already I'm actually able to do a little bit of a vlog before I put my, my camera down for the night um, but I'm, I'm in a bit of a rush like like a few of my videos uh, just trying to uh, find a spot to settle down now and take some lovely landscape photography There's me trying to get a nice bit of B-roll. I dropped my bag right at the end. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> So, I've decided to change my composition. I was sat where them two peaks were and I had a little wonder, you know, curiosity got me a little bit um, and I just dipped over to the right hand side and saw that the, uh, the um, I think it's Park House Hill which was right in front of us. I didn't see it because it was round the corner. Uh, so I saw that and needed to get it in the shot. Now, as you can see in the distance, it'll be overexposed at the moment but that is the sunset and I really need to take it but whilst that is happening um, I just want to run you through what's the composition at the moment so I managed to find these little flowers here these little flowers here are gorgeous don't know what they are in the comments below tell me what they are they look like little um, they're not bluebells but they look like them what I'm going to do is get the tripod really close to these flowers and then tilt the the camera forward so I can grab the uh, the hills and then um, what what happens when you do that it stretches the hills to be a little bit larger than what they are now they are big but I want them a little bit bigger So, I've got my 10 stop filter on. I'm going to get the same shot as I did before, but now I'm just going to focus on the clouds. Um, I've got this here, um, which is my wireless remote. Um, and basically, if I click it now, I'm going to put this shot in bulb mode um, for about five minutes. Now, as you can see here, I've got a timer here, which basically shows me how long uh, that 10 stop filter is going to take effect. So I've got here five minutes and seven seconds and also my battery is about to die. So I'm gonna get that done very quickly. And all I need to do is do this. And I'm done. I've been waiting here for the whole of the five minutes and that is my timer to tell me to take this photograph finally. So I'm just about to have that photo in my camera and it's come out absolutely fantastic. I'll throw the photo in here so you can see. So 
So the sun is at its last length. Um, funny one tonight because like when I said the sun went behind the cloud, it stayed there. Um, so I've, I've made the most of what, um, you know, I can. With uh, finishing work, came straight here. And that's the whole point about this is the fact that you can um, relax and take photos and, and just enjoy what's in front of you, uh, especially with this sort of stuff, long exposures, it's great for that. Um, just because you can sit here for five minutes and wait <laughs> and uh, just take in all the sheep in the background and uh, sit in the, um, <laughs> well, I don't know what it's called, it looks like barley, but I know it's not. But you can sit in the grass and just watch time go by which is the whole point of why i do this if anybody really wants to get into photography um i am hosting workshops um i'm just starting out so i take one-to-one -one lessons um i suggest that you know you do two hours with me um and uh yeah i'm hosting them more or less every week um i can get out and um take you to the uh, the areas near the Peak District or areas more or less the Peak District <laughs> the Peak District and um, Yorkshire is quite near to me um, and North Wales so if anybody's interested in workshops please comment below because um, you know I'm making a living doing photography and um, it'll help me out tremendously um, and so that's it for today really uh, I'm taking this last photo, last five minute exposure and um, I'm going to see what comes out of it I've just changed from portrait to landscape so I'm going to get another perspective of this shot so I think that's it for now um, I'm just sat here waiting for this last long exposure to finish but you guys have probably already seen that um, uh, it's been such a lovely night I'm so glad I do landscape photography and I really suggest I'm gonna go. If you've got a camera, go and pick it up and um, try and have a look at the countryside in a different perspective. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you again. All right, okay, so Third time lucky, I found another composition. Now, this is what happens all the time with me. Uh, <laughs> the sun's still out. And as you can see in the background, you might be able to see it because it's actually probably exposed nicely. Um, so, it's uh, still very orange. The sun's gone down the horizon. Um, and as you can see it on the back of my Canon ESR, um, I've got a bunch of lovely blue flowers uh, in a different position this time um, and I'm trying to get lots of different compositions when I get out at the moment because I find that I can post quite a lot of different versions of my photos from different compositions which is hard to do but I'm challenging myself just to get this um, a few times over um, but I'm just gonna throw this one in here as a little sneaky photo if you guys have stayed uh, up until the end because uh, I think this one's probably the best one but uh, other than that, I'm going to clock out again. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And comment in the comment description thingy bit below. Alright, thrill. I'll see you next time. <laughs>